Well, hello there! It's Crint and welcome to another speed build video. Um, this video is a treehouse that I've done in the past another treehouse, but it was not actually a treehouse. It was a hangout for kids. Um, and I really wanted to do a treehouse, but the thing is, I don't know, I'm as a person very much concerned about the logic and I cannot like stand things that they don't make sense and that's why I did not like end up doing it extremely as a tree house um, it has few columns so the house can basically have a bit better like construction and support um, but I changed the shape of it a lot and when I'm saying a lot I mean like a lot, a ton of times. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I only knew that I wanted to have three bedrooms and at least two bathrooms. Like that's all that I knew. But I didn't know how I wanted to do it. And again I wanted to make sense, like I didn't want it to float. So that troubled me a lot. Um, at first I, want, I went for more like classic shape. And then I tried to spice things up, but it did not work well. And then I changed the lot because I thought that lot is way too small, so probably I have to do it in a bigger lot. Yeah. Basically, it took me a ton of time <laughs> to actually figure out what I want to do rather than build it. But I thought, you know, I should leave it in because it makes sense since it is on the building process. Um, I also changed like the trees that I went with at least four times because I wanted to go with a tree that wouldn't like cover up the entire house, but it would provide support for the house as well. Um, so that was quite hard for me because I was not sure what I was doing. Yeah, up to that point I was like, yeah, that's a good shape, but then I looked it up and I was like, yeah, that looks crap, basically. Yeah, and I will redo it in just a few seconds, I think. Um, it took me four hours, which is like little for me, like I take at least five and up. So I was quite surprised after I was done filming it about the fact that it took me only four hours. I was like, really? Um, what else? This house has a lot of handcrafted items because, again, it is for my let's play. Mainly I did that let's play because I wanted to build a tree house. As pathetic as it sounds, yeah, that's the reason that I did it. Um, so yeah what else let me think um yeah it has a lot of handcrafted items i try to keep most of the items handcrafted like not all of them because they don't all look good but i think i kept the bathrooms handcrafted and i think the potted plants are all handcrafted as well I didn't stick with the chairs because I wanted them to look good. Um, it has a bit of boho, I guess, theme to it because I would like I liked the colors and I gave it plenty of colors and I thought, you know what, let's keep that boho sick type of thing. Um, yeah. All of the things inside the house are play tested, so they work. Apart from anything that it is um, over that little space that I'm doing right now, um, right before the tree, around the tree. I don't know why, but nothing works there. I mean, I tried, not even the seams goes up there. I don't know why, I don't get it, but it does not work. So basically, whatever is in there, it's basically mostly for reasons of purification I could like remove it totally but I didn't really want to do it I don't know I for some reason liked it and while I was building it um, while I was actually choosing the paneling the wood paneling I was like do I want to do that like modern and then I was like man let's keep it like 
boho as it was originally like the house that they live um, before I change them into a tree house um, but I really like the idea of a modern tree house so I might do that but in the long future so yeah um, what else Mm, let me think, I don't know, I don't have much to say. It took me a long time again to figure out the exterior, not the exterior, the shape. Um, so it has three bedrooms, two are inside the house and the other one is like over that little corner over there, which is more separate for a month or maybe for the teen girl of the family, whatever you want. So yeah, I made that room a bit more colorful and a bit more sick and boho, bohemian because I don't know, I, I like the way it looked like. And it's not like fairly decorated. I mean, I didn't put much of detail because Basically, I was bored because I was doing like so much detail for the other houses that I was doing and I was like, yeah, I don't want it to have that many details, like for little items for decoration. Um, so it's not heavily decorated as I do the houses from the shows, but it is decorated. It is decorated enough to make sense in the scenes, I think, and not in reality. I guess. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I didn't do much, to be honest. I kept the wooden paneling on the interior as well because I thought like it was wood panel, like so it was both ways and the walls that wouldn't be wood panel and they would be like additional walls, if you might want to say it like that. Um, I painted them. I don't know, for some reason that made sense to me. And also I went with three different wood colors. I went with a dark brown, which was the original treehouse in my mind. And then I went with the yellow weeds, where like the extra additions that they made later extensions, not additions. So it was like a bit front for the living room and I think the other part, um, the other bedroom, which is like a separate tree house, if you want to say it like that. And then I went with the white, which was like the newest additions because in the woodworking world, you cannot easily find the same pieces and colors of wood, so I thought that was a fun thing to do, maybe, um, to separate, to make different types of wood based on when they build it, I guess. Um, I also made like a cutout inside the house where the tree was, is, yep, is, um, because I thought it should like not rip the floor, right? It's have a sort of sense. So that's what I did. I gave it a bit of sense, I guess. Um, so I read the hole where the tree went on the first and on the second floor. The second floor, it has quite a weird shape, if I might say so. Um, it was not working very well. So I changed it into um, a kid's room, which is pretty big for a kid's room on a tree house so again that's nice I and mean, it is kind of separated the study sleep area with the play area so that was a nice thing um anything else that i want to say this house costs around 50 no it costs around sixty thousand, i think yeah, as you can see currently, I have a budget because I built the house again based on what, how much money they had and then you will see that they will have unlimited because they basically moved the house into another save game so I can complete it and upload it to the gallery because I mean I didn't want to upload an unfurnished 
house an incomplete house so that's what I did um, it has items from get together outdoor retreat um, movie hangout as you can clearly see I used a lot of them cool kitchen outdoor retreat and I think that's all probably I think that's all I might be mistaken sure if I am but I think that's all um what else I uh, oh did I say get to work I don't remember but I think it has get to work as well hmm, not sure I will not bet on it oh it has also romantic garden those are those all <laughs> that's all of the parts that I think it has not sure um the thing that I just put in the kitchen is a mod a custom content it's called the juicer but you won't have it like it's not on the gallery I uploaded without using custom content I mean that's the only custom content that I have in my game because I think it's cool to have juices basically for the challenge that I'm doing um, if you want to download it from the gallery there will be a link in the description down below you can set my username in the gallery which is the exact same as here or I don't know you can set the title I guess too which I haven't figured out yet so yeah, that's a bit of a surprise for you not really you can see it um, I think that's all yeah I'm currently doing the upper floor I'm not like doing it uh, um, <clears throat> I'm saving it I extend the house a bit afterwards because not everything was fitting the way that I wanted it to be fitting and the strangest thing that I noticed while I was trying to save it on my gallery was the thing that it was saying that I used custom content and I was like oh yeah duh I forgot the juicer and then I removed the juicer and then it kept saying that I used custom content so I was like probably that's a glitch so I restarted the game and that was still saying it and then I was like it's probably a temp file so I restarted my computer and I cleaned, I cleaned, I cleaned my temp files and it was keep saying that and I'm like are you serious and then I was like let's delete the mods folder and then I deleted the mods folder and it kept saying that so I was like are you serious right now and then I was like maybe it's because it has debug items which I've never experienced that but maybe because they're handcrafted and if you ever played with handcrafted items you see that when you, they, the sims use it there's a star like apart it doesn't like show the action that you're using like go to the toilet it does not show the toilet it shows the black star so it's like it has to be that and then I delete everything that it is from the debug menu and then it says oh you're still using custom content and I'm like are you serious right now so I basically deleted everything in the house from the not debug menu everything like everything I did not left any furniture and I realized that because there was a painting from two of my scenes um, not a painting, sorry, a picture that I took from the in-game camera from get to get together, not get to work. Okay, can we get to work? It showed up as custom content. I'm like, are you serious right now? And I've never experienced that problem before because I have another house in the gallery, which I think it's called Riverfront Manor or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, which I made like a long time ago in this pretty crappy to be honest um, I left like a lot of pictures from my scenes because to be honest I've totally forgot that I made a wall with their pictures so I was like why? <laughs> I mean it's probably a bug but then I'm not sure because I have not seen uh, um, like the changes that they made on the most recent stuff packs so yeah and here we are like with the unlimited money 
with yeah I tried to figure out something to do down there that wouldn't be like useful and then I was like maybe we will add you know that dark thing but it was not fitting well to the tree so I was like I will make like something like a Zen paradise but they won't be able to use it so that's good <laughs> And now we've jumped into the kids' bedroom, which, as I told you, it had a very weird shape, and I think that was the last thing that I did. Um, I tried to make it as fun as possible for the kid that would be there. Um, I tried my best, like, because they live in a tree house, I mean, that's pretty cool, but yeah, it's pretty boring as well on the interior. And here are the screenshots. Um, I took a few of the exterior and here is the kitchen. Um, we'll go into under the tree house on the later photos. Here is the bathroom near the kitchen and that is like the hallway slash dining room which couldn't fit like more than two chairs which is good. They will be fighting. But hey, um, here is the master bathroom, bathroom, bedroom with the master bathroom and its little like balcony, I guess, area, if you wanna call it like that. Um, that is underneath the stairs, which I did like a little nook area. That's the kids' bed, be bedroom, <laughs> and yeah, I took a few screenshots of it because it had pretty weird angles. And that's like the other room and thank you so much for watching, I honestly hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will have an amazing day, again if you want to download it, the link is in the description down below or you can search my username which is the exact same as here. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching, I hope you will have an amazing day and take care, bye!